This is the Q Power Bag pa Backpack. Uh, this is the adult version, uh, and I may have mispronounced the uh, the brand name. I'm not sure if it's Q or pronounced differently. Uh, but included with the backpack uh, is a USB charging cable, uh, which I have it actually charging at the moment on here. You can see it, the LED flashing, and then the instructions, which is a one-page. Uh, piece of paper that really is lacking in instructions and could be a bit more uh, detailed because uh, you know this backpack is of course more than just a backpack it's actually one of the coolest uh, combination devices I've seen uh, and this is the adult version I've also reviewed the kids version and the biggest difference between the two uh, is this one of course being a little bit larger is more spacious and has a few extra features that the kids version doesn't have and vice versa. Um, this backpack has plenty of pockets everywhere on this bag. Uh, there's, you know, pockets in the front here. Uh, additional pocket in, the, in this secondary pocket. Uh, and then, of course, a large, big area as well for holding like a laptop or a tablet or anything. Uh, the center and the back are padded, uh, which is great. The back is padded. The straps are also padded, which is, makes it comfortable and a protective backpack for all electronics. Uh, you know, uh, there are access holes on various spots. There's one here, one on the other side here for uh, electronics, uh, you know, like headphones and stuff that you can put the ca feed the cables through as well. Uh, which is a feature this one has that the kids one doesn't have. Um, and, and again, if you count this solely as a backpack, backpack, this is a really good quality one. It's got good zippers, actually better zippers on it than the kids version that this company also makes. And very good sewn seams and, and very well made a good quality backpack overall. And like, like their other backpack, they have speakers, uh, on, each side here. There's also additional pockets here on the on the on the top side as well. Uh, an additional pocket here at the top where the carry handle is, and another one on the other side. So there's plenty of space. Uh, inside the the speaker pockets, of course, you can see the cables here, uh, which has a multi uh, plug cable for old devices as well as new. Uh, it also serves as the charging port for charging. Uh, as you can see, there's the off-on switch here, along with the uh, five LED indicators that indicates both charging and uh, the power level. Uh, now, this you know backpack that the power bank that's in this had no issues at charging any device that I tried to charge, uh, but it doesn't really say what size this uh, power bank is. Uh, you know. I'm assuming, like with the other backpack, it's in the two to three thousand milliamp range, uh, which is based on that it gets you about four hours of playtime with the speaker, so that should give you a charge or two full charges of a of a typical phone. Uh, you know, it paired. You know, there's no issues with my Android phone, and you know the speakers are pretty similar to the kids' version. Uh, they sound pretty good considering they're built into a backpack. You know, they won't compete with high-end speakers, but they have pretty good volume uh, with pretty good vocals uh, and decent amount of bass and instrumentation, uh, you know, is, is clearly distinguished considering the size of the speakers. I mean, they're not going to blow you away, but again, it's built into a backpack. And like the kids' version, the Bluetooth range is, is not as strong uh, as, as most Bluetooth speakers. You only get about a range about 20 feet out of this before interruption. Uh, and again, since the speaker wires are in these pockets where the speakers, you really shouldn't store anything uh, other than those speakers or you're going to run the risk of damaging those wires. Uh, but overall, the lack of good instructions and the weak Bluetooth range kind of hurt its rating, kind of like with the kids. But but uh, the, the zippers are definitely better on this one uh, overall. And the coolness factor of this backpack really makes it a, a good choice for a flexible backpack that's got some cool extras to it with the power bank and the speakers, and I give it four and a half stars.